Hi, welcome to Lucky Paper. I'm Andy. I'm here with my Thanks. friend Anthony. Welcome to Lucky Paper, Anthony. It's good to be here. Woo, creepy. We're here playing some cube. We drafted these decks from my, I say brand new. I've been working on it for a long time, but it only became draftable like last week. So I'm, I'm going with brand new. Yeah, I'm looking at this and this looks brand spanking new. Exactly, yes. My brand new old cube. This is my neoclassical cube. It is a cube that is all about the mechanics and themes of old school magic. But it is not strictly limited to only old school cards. So I do have some modern cards here. We see a migratory route a Voltaic Servant floating around. What you got over there? You got a Thought Scour, a Sensor, a Think Twice. Basically, I included some new cards that I feel like fit the themes and mechanics and whatever of the Old Border cube. So it's meant to be Old Border gameplay, not strictly Old Border cards. And uh, we've only played it once before. The deck I drafted in the first draft was an Abomination. I don't know how I won any matches. And this this deck, I think, is quite a bit better. What did you draft in the first uh, draft? I don't remember exactly. I drafted uh, black-green stuff, but it was interesting. I like that I was also splashing a little bit of white and red for things like Pacifism and Fiery Justice. So most of my deck was just some big, beefy green things. But, uh, yeah, those like mass removal spells were really, really powerful. And it felt smart, and I, I built my mana base right to support that splash. Oh, yeah. I use a stream deck, too. Look at this go. This is wow. Great. All kinds of buttons. So great. All right, well, tell us what you drafted this time, Anthony, as I press the button to bring you up in the big screen. So, uh, where did I even start? I think I started with Deep Analysis and got an Arcanist early, which is a card that really kicked my teeth in in the previous draft. Uh, oh, really? You got Arcanist? It was rough. Uh, yeah, that was bad. Um, so, I would start out pretty heavily blue, but then started seeing a lot of green stuff going around, uh, especially things like uh, Query and Dryad felt good with a bunch of cantrips and things like that and also you know flashback spells uh and then green felt really really open i got a late green was called open. the herd yeah. i think in pack two and then ended up opening deranged tournament and i think wheeling grizzly fate which i thought I, I had joked before the draft that i really wanted to try to cast grizzly fate again because i'd never cast it uh the last draft well, and i think it's actually wish. much much better in this deck than it was in that one so we'll see how it goes we don't never use sleeves on this channel we're just not using sleeves two weeks in a row so it just mm -hmm. happens that way sometimes. Um, I drafted a blue artifact deck with little splashes for white and red. I'm actually going to change the title of this deck because it's not really you white. It's going to be uh, Fiery Wet Mono Blue. What do we call it? I'm just going to call it Blue Artifact. Oh, I have another keyboard right here. Look at me go. So many keyboards. Blue Artifacts. Um, it's kind. It's no black. So it's it's Jeskai, but I'm only splashing red for exactly prophetic bolt. I'm splashing white for balance, forsake the worldly, and migratory route. With migratory route and forsake the worldly both having cycling, so pretty forgiving splashes there. My first, my pack one pick one was Tolarian Academy, which is obviously broken, but requires you to build around it. I then took artifacts pretty highly, and I was very fortunate to get late-ish balance, tinker, and upheaval, which I think are all pretty big payoffs for this kind of deck. Uh, my win conditions are kind of narrow. I'm just going to be winning with Masticor, Karn Silver Golem, turning all my artifacts into creatures, maybe birds from Migratory Route. That's going to be the plan. Uh, close up of that Karn is, is being requested. This Karn is pretty pretty scuffed. I need to get like a close up cam camera specifically. Like I can do it this. Exit. We can get a little, a little like camera in a. Oh, it's flipped because I forgot it's flipped. Ooh, check out that flipped Karn. Doesn't so work if you cool. turn it backwards. <laughs> I was just showing in the <laughs> no. back, too. I, I understand. Uh, yeah, Karn's pretty messed up. It's true. Um, fun fun fact, I can't find a beat-up Mastercore to save my life. I've bought four what are listed as HP or damage Mastercores, and they're all not that messed up. I want a more messed up one because I feel bad riffle shuffling I mean, this reserve list card. I'm, I'm just going to wait, I guess. Anyway, uh, so the deck is all about artifacts, and I think it's pretty good. Um, it's definitely the kind of deck that can suffer from drawing the wrong cards at the wrong time. There's a lot of air in this deck. 15 lands, lots of mana rocks, lots of little dinky baubles and cantrips. So it's really all about just resolving one of the big spells. And if they just have any submitted counter magic, so it could be a problem. Uh, I did build my main deck without looking at Anthony's deck, and now seeing it shouldn't be on Forsake the Worldly, because you have nothing, right, that can Forsake the Worldly? Pretty sure nothing. Pretty, pretty sure. So that's just cycling too. But I'm, uh -huh, I get to side, I get to honest. sideboard in my my artifacts. This is gonna be great. But I'm an honest man, and I would have built this deck main decking that forsake the worldly. I'll probably be siding it out for a mindless automaton or a Mishra's helix in game two. We will see. Anyway, 
that is the deck, and uh, I'm excited to play it. Should we get into it, Anthony? Let's do it. Oh, I guess one note before we start playing. I do have a Molten Tributary here, which uh, is eroded to be a volcanic island. What? Until I you managed, can do that? Until I managed to get an extremely cheap, <laughs> extremely beat up volcanic island, which I am working on. Uh, Anthony's got his trop in his bayou over there, but yeah. still working on the volcanic island and a couple other ones. So, um, This is only the second draft of this cube. The first draft was in person and went well, but now we're doing it for real. Old cards plus commander cards, Captain Wacky. I resent that. What, Migratory Route's the only commander card, I think, right? On wow, the this, table? this card is marked. Yeah, the Tropical Island may or may not have been stapled in four corners. I, you know, and yes, that is your, uh, that is your Christmas forest tentacle oh, monster, right. which, so this, I, which I adore. I adore that forest. This is, Wald is just German for forest, right? Because yeah. what, what's the what's the card that I'm thinking of that was a misprint that there was supposed to be? There are some planes that say Wald right, on them. Right, right, right. Okay. Even though Wald means forest. So this is just a cool 6th edition Christmas style. The island German. is not actually a curd ape. Uh, the only cards that are modified are the placeholder dual lands I have. So that is confusing that you have some modifications that are modifications. Is Force of Will actually totally ro roidified? <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> roidified? Uh, no, it's just the just the dual lands. We only have the one one in my deck. You've drafted your actual duels, so... Yeah, I got Which that. Which is fun. I, I really, I did, I did really want to riffle shuffle some, some actual duels on stream. So I'm glad we get to do that. Um, I got that pack three and was very lucky. I was like, oh, I really need a blue, a blue green card would really make all my fetches work. Uh, and then I was like, oh yeah, I did pass a breeding pool pack one. But then you got Oops. that trap. We got there. Yeah, we riffle shuffle in here. That's what we do. I will say this. I feel like even a good riffle shuffle, like it's hard. I feel like to be as evenly distributed at shuffling as like a good mass shuffle is like that... that was a pretty okay one but they're still in groups of like three or four you know i was doing some thinking about this and did a little bit of research on like how does riffling shuffle work and how would you model it with code uh and some of the things that apparently best hey buddy you're a nerd i love you <laughs> no, no, no 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 that's normal um apparently like it's not expected that you're doing one card each way no that would be not shuffling and, if and it was doing, doing some... that Doing some simulations of a perfect shuffle was very funny because you shuffle it and it like goes through weird patterns and, and then it just goes back to the beginning. It goes back to the beginning. It's like oh, <laughs> it's like unstirring the gravy and mashed potatoes. I don't even know exactly what I'm referencing there. All right, we'll do high roll because of how much I care about you as a person. Wow. We're doing it simultaneously though. Okay. Three, two. One. Haja. Nine. Seven. Hooray! The nines take it. All right. Good luck, buddy. Good luck to you. Let's play some magic. I had a thought. Go ahead. So, uh, some cards. a little behind the scenes peek. I am planning on recording some gameplay without commentary over it for reasons. And I got real excited about the idea of being able to play on this setup without a microphone in front of me. <laughs> it would be so much nicer. Oh, yeah. The microphones are a hassle. All, All right. right. Let's check this out. Incredible. Yikes. Choice goes to you. I can't keep this chat. Let me give you a little peeky poo of why I can't keep this. It's really close. It's really, really close. The Ash Barons was an island. Sign me up. The Tularean Academy was an island. Sign me up. But they're not. Volcanic Island on top. Never didn't have it. I'll go down to six. All right. Oop. Uh, the Bayou does not have four staple holes. Only the Tropical Island has four staple holes. I'll have you know. And they were cheap. I don't I have to look at which one I got. What I pay for each of them, I don't remember. I'm gonna keep my hand. It's, it's what it is. But uh, I, I think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I've got the big board and the focus screens now. I've got different ones. Cool no, hand. I'm not. I'm just trying to figure out how to. Right. You said you're keeping, yeah. I'm gonna keep. Okie dokie. I got most of those beat up duels at Magic Con Philly, where I did some wheeling and dealing. Some people gave me a discount when I was like, how would you feel if I said I was going to play this dual land in an unsleeved cube? Would you give me some money off? <laughs> and they said? Some people said, yeah. 
That's great. Other people looked at me like I was an alien. <laughs> be funny if they just raised the price. I thought some people might be mad that I was doing that, but nobody expressed that to me. All right, down to six. Yikes. That sounds that sounds good for me. Okay, well, I'm going to keep his hand, but it's not good, chat, as you can see. But I think I have to keep it. I'll go ahead and bottom this. And, uh, yeah, we'll play some magic. Are you ready, Anthony? I'm ready. going to lead on a changed camera and a fairy conclave. Shindir is here. Take it away. Hey, Shindir, glad you're working from home and ha can hang out on the stream. That's fun and cool. Everyone loved it. Hmm. I should have looked at your deck more closely. What do you want to know? Um... How much stuff do you have that cares about the graveyard? <laughs> Literally nothing, I'm pretty Incredible. sure. Incredible. I mean, I have a master core that will make me discard cards. That's the closest I have to caring about the graveyard. Yeah. Well, do I have anything? Oh, I have a deep analysis that has flashback. Are there two deep analysis? Is? No, you're right. You have deep analysis. I have, fact <laughs> I have factor fiction. You're right. You're right. Ooh, wow. That was spooky for a second there. All right. I'm going to start with a windswept heath. I'm going to go ahead and crack it. Go to 19. I decrease your life total with the press of a button. Thanking tentacle monster from across the ocean. This this despite how like little is happening in my hand, it feels difficult to sequence. Your, I, so I play um, this cube by modern rules, modern Mulligan rules, modern rules text. No damage on the stack, no mana burn, none of this trash. None of this trash. Yeah. I got to figure out if I can get. Here's the thing. I want to submit it to KubeCon. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Will they allow an unsleeved? I really doubt they will. I'll have to sleeve it up for KubeCon, which like is a lot fine. Of, like extra liability and stuff. Um, um, and then I still don't know which of my spells I'm supposed to cast here. I did decrease my own life total. Oh, it's the problems with the new machine. There we go. I fixed it. All right, I'm going to thought scour myself. You got it. I'm going to put a Kavu Titan and Ash Barons in the graveyard, and then I will draw a card, and I will say go look at that you're doing stuff you got four cards in different four zones cards. over there got so many cards and zones i will play an island and i'll pass the turn yeah the marked cards would be an issue yeah i don't really think they're gonna Wrong. let me play it on sleeve which is fine but i want to submit to kubecon period which means i need to if i submit it to kubecon and it gets accepted i am locked in to actually acquiring the rest of the damage duels before <laughs> october which yeah. i think is plenty of time to get really cheap ones i think but you know um, it's not Hillary's birthday. It's Alex's birthday. Oh no, it's happening. I'm gonna play. Oh, should I play that yet? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to play blue cards. Let's go ahead and cast a ponder. You ponder. I will look at the top three cards in my library. I don't even know if it's because it's sponsored by Wizards. It's because it's run by judges. Judges are not gonna let you have a cube that has such clearly marked cards for any in stakes. Incredible. Um, I'm going to shuffle. So I have to put it in real sleeves, which is fine for KubeCon specifically. I need to figure out a new, like I need space on the table to shuffle, so. Yeah, that is true. That is a factor. Thriller, maybe I will never forget my mom's birthday because it's when your birthday is. You ever think of All it right, that way? Then I'm going to draw off the ponder. You do it. What an incredible set of draws this has been. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crack the flooded strand. Boop. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. Tentacle monster. This is whew, This is good. This is popping. All right. Which basic island am I getting? <laughs> I love what's going on in chat right now. It's very good. What's Everybody's wishing everybody a happy birthday. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just very good times. All right. I'm going to cast the... Or, Whoa. Here we go. Actually, you don't cast an island. Cast island from my flooded strand. Actually. This uh, island was signed in the year of 2022. Look how many times I've shuffled my library so far, and I haven't done anything. You've done so much. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Peak. Well. I can target myself with that, huh? Yeah, do you want to do that nope. by any chance? I thought about it, and I decided no. Okay, well. Plan revealed. Okay, well, you got balance. That's kind of rude. You got a uh, factor fiction. 
The plan is you cast balance and then cast factor fiction. It's pretty the good. The plan is just it's pretty try and plan. get you to walk into a balance. That's the yeah. only plan. Hey, we can we can still make that happen. <laughs> um, all right. I know those things, and I will uh, draw a card. I didn't do that yet, right? Hope not. And say go. All right. I will draw. I will... Tap my blue to make an island. Play an island. <sighs> yeah. I'll just play this sky diamond I just drew. Okay. And then I'll pass. I'll untap. Keep my hand revealed. Draw For a card. all to see. Man, the, the... It's actually good for the stream when you play peak, so if you could do that more often, yeah, that would absolutely. be good. May I do it now? If you can recast it, sure. Will, will you allow this? Uh, I will play Vald. Vald! Uh, tap it for three mana and cast an elephant. Sure. Surely, surely John has made an elephant token. Yeah, baby, here we go. There's some elephants thank for you. Thank you. And I will say go. See how much easier that turn was when I did green stuff instead of blue stuff? That's great. Hmm. Well, now my Telerian Academy taps for mana, so that's good. I'll play a Telerian Academy. How many cards do you have in hand? I have six cards in hand. You have four? Four. Yeah, I mean, even though you know about it, this just feels good. Just to balance me and rip a bunch of cards out of my hand? Yeah, yeah, it feels good. I'm not going to lie. All right, we're going to do it. I'm going to cast Balance. So okay. I'm going to sacrifice a land. You're going to discard three cards, mm -hmm. and you're going to sacrifice your elephant token. Okay, let's do the elephant first. Um, I think I'm going to sacrifice my planes. Am I going to regret that? Am I gonna regret some? I think I actually no. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna float some mana uh, with that spell on the stack, and then I'm gonna sacrifice this island instead. Okay. All right. So I'm discarding down to three, right? You're discarding down to three. Yes. My hand is Voltaic Servant, Factor Fiction, and one unknown. I'm gonna discard an Ash Barons, a Forest, and a Think Twice. Ooh, look at all those flashback cards. All right, I've got two blue mana floating. I yep. will animate my Fairy Conclave and attack for two. I will take two. Got you S16. Pass a turn. Untap. Draw a card for turn. That's kind of neat. Maybe I do that instead. You can make elephant. So you, I, so you can play land. land. If I have an untapped land. Uh, I'm actually just going to... Well, I'm just going to think twice. Oh, look at that. Look at you go. And then play a Simic Growth Chamber and pick up Vald. And say, go. I'll untap. I will draw. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. You gonna end a turn, Factor Fiction, I lose me? I, oh, I see, yes. Um, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, I will play Vold, and then cast Grizzly Fate. Do you have Threshold? I sure hope so. I got uh, like eight, nine, ten. So you make four bears? I'll make four bears. That's too many bears. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to do two turns from now. Oh, no. That's so many bears. You find your bear tokens. Yeah, and I'll While say, you do that, I'm going to go. go ahead and cast this Factor Fiction. Yeah. I guess I lose. <laughs> All right, top five cards. Well, I guess I'm glad I dug through these top five cards, because that's All bad. Right, these are in color order. Wow. Um, I'll get your bears. You you make some okay, piles. Okay. That's cool. That's a curd ape. Uh, it's just an island, to be clear. There's only two bear tokens. You'll have to use some dice to okay. indicate tapped bears and untapped bears. We have currently four bears. I don't know how to do this factor fiction. I mean, usually the strategy is you try and group things into similar effects so you give a lot less flexibility. But, I mean, what? I, I guess the shuffle effect is valuable. 
You probably want the jeweled amulet, actually, because it makes more mana. I mean, but it can't... It's not a mana source itself, except for every other turn. Right, but it makes more mana with Tolarian Academy. It makes Tolarian Academy a little better. I guess we'll go this way? I don't know if that's right. Sure, I'll Factor take... Fiction is hard. I'll take the more cards. Okay, that makes sense. And then I'll untap. Sounds good. I will draw. Not a four bears blade, the original four bears. Deck, what are you what is you doing, Dick? Well, you're gonna make a lot more bears is the problem. That's the plan. I'll play with Volcanic Island. Okay. I will make four birds. Not nearly as good as four bears. Pretty good. Man, I had to play against Battle Screech yesterday. Twice. Here's four birds. Two different opponents had Battle Screech. And Sorry. then I will pass the turn. I'll untap. I will draw a card. That's kind of cute. Um. All right, let's go to combat. Attack you for eight. I think I double block two bears. That makes sense. I will lose two bears. You will lose four birds. I lose four life and all my birds. Hi, wife. Hello. Hello. You want to hang out with uh, chat? That's why I'm here. Cool. Um, you might not be able to see from there. Maybe you just want to grab that chair and pull the mic over. Okay. Does that right. d d eliminate your desire to hang out with chat if you have to move a mic around? Uh, a wall of blossoms. Okay. Yeah. I will draw a card. Um, I will pay three, cast Wood Elves, trigger Wood Elves, Yeah. get to those bears faster. I hope I have another forest. You at least have a temple garden. Yeah. They can get non-basic forests. Yup. We gotta guard the mic first. <laughs> <laughs> take, it, take it out of the mic stand. You don't just have to hold it. It'll right. be easier that way. I will get a temple garden. Here. Pass it towards me. I'm messing up the game. I apologize. You gotta get the cable around there. Yeah. And then also around there. <laughs> here, here. Pass it under. Should I? Am I supposed to help? No, you're doing great. I'm figuring out if I can do stuff. I'm here to distract you. Help my husband win. Wee. All right, so I'm just gonna get that temple garden. Testing, 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 testing. Yes, Hillary's the fun one. There you go. Well, it is me, the fun one. You can see chat up there, yeah. I should have brought my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I had a cool, I had a very cool plan. Um, turns out I don't have any more forests in my deck. You do have Wirewood Symbiote, I guess. I do. I'm going to go ahead and play my land for turn. It's a bayou. And why not? I will cast a Wirewood <laughs> Symbiote. You and just play land for turn? Yeah, so I had... Thanks, Donald. This, this plays out, right? Because I had... You paid five last turn. Five last turn. You got that one off the... Got yeah. that off the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at you go. Out. Say go. I'm getting stippy stomped into the ground. I think I'm wearing all five colors On of... tap. Wow. Lance. I will draw. You guys are very neutral in your grays. You're neutral! I think, we're, I think we did. Tell my wife I said <laughs> hello. If I do that... It's a Futurama joke for someone out there. I'm going to play Voltaic Servant. Oh, no. And then one, two, three, four. I have not played land for turn. I'll play an island. And I'll pay five for Karn Silver Golem. Okay. So remind me, if he blocks or becomes blocked, he becomes an 08. 08. And you can turn anything into an artifact? I can turn any non-artifact, non-creature artifact into an artifact creature. Power and toughness equal to its mana value. Okay. So you can potentially make a 2-2 two -two and a... Just, that's, that's it. Just destroy a two -two. your uh, jeweled. You didn't get you did, that. You didn't give me that. Or I didn't cool. take that. Cool, cool. Uh, two unknowns and an Azorius Chancery and pass the turn. All right, I will untap. Right about now, I'm wishing Karn wasn't canonically a pacifist. I wish he would go on bear killing <laughs> duty. <laughs> bear killing duty. Um. So here's the question. Do you have more wrath I should be worried about? I can't attack into you, you know that as I have easily now because you have a upheaval one upheaval and Nev's disc. All right, I will go to combat. You're in combat. 
I will attack you just for four. Block them both. Great. They both have some damage marked on them. Ouch. I will four more bears. <laughs> Make four more bears. Too many bears. Bear. Four the untapped bears. bears. Four. Wow, look how cool those tokens are. Yeah. Our Did friend, you get these? Our friend yeah. John made them. And Thanks, I'll John. Go. Just for the neoclassical cube? No. Or for general? This is the thing that John sells. Oh. I'll untap. I will draw. How does it feel to have unsleeved? It feels great. Fancy cards. You gonna okay. animate fairy conclave? <laughs> yep. Attack you for two in the air. I will take two. Fourteen. I'll play an Azorius Chancery for turn. Mm -hmm. Pick up a Plains. And sure, I think this actually just benefits me. I'll tap the Stellarian Academy for three and play a Winter Orb. I love Winter Orb. Wow. I just I didn't think it's know such this a, about you. I, I mean, I don't have it in any of the decks. I definitely made a misplay. I should have tapped the Sky Diamond for mana instead of one of my other lands to animate the Conclave because that was going to untap because of all takes Servant oh, and yeah. also is not going to be locked down under, under yeah. Winter Orb. But whatever. Mistakes were made. Pass the turn. I just think the art is so cool. I, I mean, lots untap. of art is cool, but it's like a collage. Six bears. So I only get to untap one land. Also on bear theme. It will be a Simic Growth Chamber. Then I will draw a card for turn. I really wish you hadn't done that. It also seems bad. It costs one to turn your Sky Diamond into a 2-2. Two -two. You can also turn the Winter Orb into a 2-2. Two -two. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. All things I can do. All right. I will go to combat. Yep. Attack you with six bears. I will animate both the... I guess I can only animate one... Because that will be tapped if I animate it. Unless. Unless. No, that's, not, that's the only way I can do it. I guess I'm just animating the Winter Orb. I'll block three bears. Okay. I will lose one of my bears. So I take six and lose my Winter Orb. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a pretty good plan, honestly. Uh, and then I will say go. All right. I will untap. I will draw. Did you also shuffle these? Uh, I mean, obviously you shuffled them, but in oh, a yeah, in a did. messed up way. I shuffled them in a messed up way, uh, one, two, <laughs> three, four, five times. I'll play a Nevenural's disc. You have a Nevenural's disc. I will play an Is it Boilerworks for turn, picking up Molten Tributary slash Volcanic Island. I will go to my end step and untap Nevenural's disc with Voltaic Servant. Ooh. Okay. Take it away. That's a problem. I will untap. I will draw a card. Can I just ask questions to the chat? Yeah. You're, hang out with chat. Hey, chat. Chat with chat. Tell me the highlight of your That's weekend. That's what they're here for. I want to know. Did it have to do with magic? I want to I know. It doesn't have to do with magic. Could be, do you have a cool cooking project? Did you go on a nice walkabout? Wow. Um, you can oh, make no. That sounds like the worst weekend. Sorry, Anthony. Go ahead. This taps four, for four mana. Five, five six, six mana. mana. How are you feeling? Yuck. Do you feel better? All right. Let's go to combat. Sure. Wow. Congratulations, Tentacle Monster. That's so exciting. So that. Wow, look at everyone just giving me all the, the good. Presents eight. On good board. stuff. Let me just Although think COVID out loud sucks. For a second so here. That's, that sounds really bad, but I'm glad you're feeling better. And then block a bear. Wow. Block a second bear. Wow. I take six, seven, go to three. And a new battle box. Awesome. And if I'm at three and you still have four bears. Andy and I watched I for I'm the second okay. time. RRR. Right. R, R, I'll animate the Nevin Earls disc. Which. Okay. And honestly, coming Go up work today to was like blocks. Block. I want to watch the third time in a week. And it's so good. I'll take servant on Wirewood Symbiote. Mm. 
Am I not supposed to talk over you while you're narrating? Your no, that's fine. I don't know how. The, I don't know the etiquette. No one has. Okay. Told me. So I will lose one bear. Yes. I will uh, lose ooh. a symbiote. Do I want to pick up the wood elves first? So I have more stuff to do? No. Lose a symbiote. I take seven. James, it's so seven. good. It's so good. Go to three. It is on Netflix. It is three hours long, but it doesn't feel like it. Don't let that scare you. All right, you're at three. You've got an year olds disc, and I'm worried about what you're going to do to me. I'm going to try and kill you eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Each art is one hour. It's true. It is a good, like, if you need to take a break, there are some chapters, but also just... We watch it. Whole, we watch yeah. it for the second time, and my assessment after watching the three-hour movie twice is that it can't be any shorter. <laughs> they could cut out a total of like two lines of dialogue. Otherwise, it's all necessary. All right, I'm just going to cast a preordain. Yeah. Um, Seems good. I will put both of these on the bottom, and then draw a card. Here's the two lines they could cut out, Shindir. <laughs> they could cut out the line. Where uh, <laughs> they can cut the line where after he throws the nails on the road to pop the car's tires, Jenny's car's tires, and then he says, I threw nails on the road to puncture the tires. <laughs> they could cut that line out. Uh, and they could pass the also cut out the line where Sita explains. Well, I don't want to spoil it for anybody that's listening. They could cut out the line where Sita uh, explains how she got the people to go away. I think I said that in a coded enough way. <laughs> Without spoiling anything. How have I ever like bubble. poked to the point of bleeding? Like you have a what type of what type of poke are we talking here? Molten tributary. With a sleeved card. Pass the turn. Also, I feel like Andy like triple sleeves his cards, so they are triples. What, what do you think I am? Triple sleeves. What do you think I am? Sleeves his Untap. cards. And so they're actually like they're there's no pointy. They're double they're sleeved. They're not pointy Draw. though. It kinda like dulls out on the sides. So you can't poke yourself. I think they're pokier because they're extra oh. thick. Have you poked yourself with a sleeved card? No, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> You've never. I don't have little child yourself? hands like Alveric in the chat. He's got baby fingers. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, I'll go to combat. You're in combat. Yes. A noticeable poke. Let me think for yeah, take one your time. second. You're at three. I'm at three. So you can block. You got the fairy conclave. You can turn that into a two-two. So, is this force blocks or activate Devnirl's disc? Is it sharp enough for a stick and poke, though? Let's throw in the wood elves as well. Okay, all attacks. All attacks to collect. Eric, are you losing? I will animate the fairy conclave. Not I only in will. the chat, but also in the Discord now. I are you really will hoping for a comeback also here? animate a the opinion? sky diamond mm -hmm. with Karn. And then I will move to blocks. Yes. There. And all four bears. That sounds great. So you lose two bears, three bears. Five bears. You three lose bears. three bears. I lose diamond, yes. conclave, and you lose wood elves. Yes. I kind of want to buy these tokens for my own cube. Which also, I should probably just play my cube more before buying more tokens for cube. Is that how it works? Is that how it works, Chad? Do you spend to play or do you play to spend? Well, now he's planning on getting through now. I've managed to get some board <sighs> yeah. domination. It's not going to be easy. I love playing with Karn Silver Golem. What a card. Tokens now play later. I like that style. You know, end of the month, payday on Friday. Combatable, wombatable, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Recognize that username from Twitter. Wow. Combat you wombat. know so many people. Combatable, wombatable. I mean, to be clear, people is a big phrase. I mean, I'm sure that is a person, but Could I know them as a string of text called combatable, wow. wombatable. Wow. Not a bot. Forest. I just don't know them, you know? Yeah. 
All right, I'm I'm like pretty sure there's another island. There should be <laughs> two want, more islands. Do you want to check the list? You're right. Yeah, there's three islands. There's three islands, three islands. There's three islands okay. two for us. Am I missing? Deck. Am I missing any in my graveyard? I don't think so. All these cards look different. Has anyone ever just laminated cards? People have laminated cards. Yeah, it's uh, offensive in my opinion. Offensive. Offensive. All right, I'm going to Why? cycle Ash Barons. It's just. Is it because it's uneven? Like you can't necessarily no, it's confirm just, the it's, consistency it just, of the lamination. It just damages and the, the card and also is not even that nice to shuffle. Just oh. put it in a sleeve. We have products for this. <laughs> a Zoe draft. You know? Oh, we played a, a CubeCon thing. Great. Then I know you right, perfectly. Get an island and play <laughs> it. Did you tell me you were compatible and battable at CubeCon? Because I unless you unless you told me that. Then you're just one of many people I played at CubeCon. You gonna drop an also, I hear canvas that on me right now? Anthony cool is the more deck recognizable myself. of the two. Wow, in real life. that's not dragged. True. I have a giant mustache. <laughs> 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 I thought you said that at MagicCon, more people recognize Anthony than they recognize you. That's not true. No, so specifically um, that guy that came to the shop recognized Anthony from the panel and did not recognize me from the panel, which I thought was funny. Flashback mm. call the herd to make an elephant. You got an elephant. Pretty sure I am in fact dead. Um, okay, you're not definitely not dead. Let's not exaggerate too I much. I just looked at my deck and I don't think I actually have a way to win. But you I can deck a, myself a, pretty quickly. You have a big old uh deranged tournament in there. A four four. Battle played on the old bordered foil cube. Round one, day three of the old border foil. Okay, I, I do remember that match. I remember you. Hooray that wasn't my cool uh, red green fires you have in my sapperling burst deck where I never got to play both cards in the same game. Damn. Which why it was actually Damn. why I built this exact cube because I was like I want wow. to do that. All right, kill me fast. Oh, I meant to or pop I that scoop. at the end of your turn. Oh well, you like to I didn't have done it. No, it's fine. I'm just okay. not paying that much attention. Uh, I'm gonna animate Nevernrule's disc. Yeah. I'm gonna Ooh. attack for four. Okay. I'll take four. You're dead. Got you at ten. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> You're not dead. I will go to my end step, Andy's untap Nev's disc with Voltaic Servant. Yeah. I'll pass the turn. I'll, I'll put untap. this on top of my deck so I don't forget to crack my Mishra's bubble. I'll Maybe draw when I go upstairs, I'll get my glasses so I can actually read what's happening on the screen. I will tap my Simic Growth Chamber. Make a Quirion Dryad. Oh, that's going to get big eventually. Pay four mana cast deep analysis i mean you're targeting you're doing stuff myself yeah yeah I'm decking myself i mean there's more cards than it looks like unsleeved right. everything looks very small trigger can i get a plus one plus one thank you thank you um you still have a three three i mean a four four i do still have a four 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 is unbeatable i have passed the turn I'm trying to figure out if i should be afraid of arcanus he is omnipotent. You're at 10. Let's start by cracking this bauble. Okay. Look at the top card of your library. Is it a good one? Can I read that it says kill, kill, die, die, die through the I will the not do anything else on the end step. <laughs> Interesting. Is this land in play or revealed? It's revealed. It's yeah. not in play. Okay. I'll untap. I will draw for the bauble, mm -hmm. and I'll draw for turn. I'll play... A land. Okay. I'll pay six for a Triskelion. What does that do? You know what Triskelion does? I don't. Tell me. It's a six mana one one with three plus one plus one counters and it has the walking ballista text i can remove a counter to deal another damage to four four yeah it's another four four ouch i'm going to cast counter spell you counter my boy blue i'm gonna counter your boy my boy blue uh, robo boy rip trigger 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 i was very sad for everybody involved when i cast a blue spell get so a trigger. this taps for three <laughs> so I guess uh, no attacks this turn. I will just pass. We did it. Draw a card. The real combo is for four, five, six. Uh, sorry, four plus another six. For ten mana, I can put a counter on Query and Dryad. That's cool. Welcome to the chat. Huh? 
with Avery. this card that with this card you just I saw that's how that I, I drew. Say it. Again, I'm not wearing my glasses, so everything is... What? Does he have a text on it? I, yeah, it's got more text. <laughs> I, just, I just read it. What's the you rest of it? You can pay four in? mana to return it to its own hand. Hey, there you go. I mean, that's good. That's a combo. That's good. Um, Hmm. Do I want to cast Arcanus? Or do I want to cast Deep Analysis? Put myself at seven and make my query and dry it. A four, four. Uh. It's not a lot of cards. You're at three, but you have so many chump blocks. Ugh. That's a fun basic. It's a very fun basic. a christmas tree <laughs> it is a christmas tree yeah <laughs> cool tentacle monster drew it tentacle monsters in the chat good job tentacle monster that's one of my favorite basic lands i've seen in the neoclassical cube thus far crying city asks Hiller, what's the best food these guys have cooked you all right i'm gonna cast Whoa. this arcanus you got an arcanus it's Trigger. omnipotent Ooh, that's a hard question you still have a four do i have four. to pick between the two Pass of the them turn. or can i say one for you anthony and one for andy prophetic bolt arcanus oh no i don't have enough mana to return to my hand um i know you got a lot of counter spells in there target creature or player look at the top four cards of your library one for each okay good that uh, saves my marriage you have um, how much available mana <laughs> None. zero in that case i will anthony's ramen censor that yeah that feels bad trigger what are you gonna really do really one of the best things i've I've ever eaten. Wow. It's that's so good. He makes homemade noodles, homemade stock, everything just perfect. Done. I just made ramen for dinner with dried noodles. And I feel totally justified in the amount of time that I spend making noodles. It's <laughs> not as good. Um yeah, that's how it's, it's it, I'm I, I'm going through my like scrapbook mm -hmm. of all of the the menus. I have pictures of, if that helps. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I'm nice sure I make funny faces in most of them. Um, but yeah, just the, the quality, the intention, and execution. Mind Stone. Also the plating. Okay. It's really... Shay Anthony is... Well, I guess I could have played okay, Mind Stone better. I could have played Mind Stone first, tapped great. it for mana. I'm going to get better. Um, meanwhile, Andy... <laughs> 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 meanwhile, my favorite thing that Andy makes um, is... I, I think this is an underdog dish. Pass the turn. Which is... Um, a sous vide pork chop because that's for a long time my, that's draw uh -oh. that's your favorite thing i make i'm shocked it's not the wrong answer i just didn't i would never have guessed that so i have six cards in my but library like, pork chops are so hard to make and i feel like for a good portion of my 20s when i tried to just pan fry a pork chop it was always just a, a block of unflavored meat and andy has a way of just making it taste incredible um, he also makes a really good duck breast. Meat, meat is the that's meat a, is that's the jam. a better answer, I think. Oh, <laughs> <It's just fancy>. personally, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Unsaved. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm so blessed, so blessed to have such amazing cooking in my crack life. Crack the disc, but there's. Am I ever going to actually be able to? F oh no, sorry. Force I've, lethal to make you do that? I've I don't totally, think so. Between I've totally messed up. My ice responses. manipulator and I have better responses. After they that being an play. eight an oh eight, yeah, I'll just ship the turn back. My favorite thing that Andy makes is his chicken tacos. By I far, those are the best fucking. Will draw a card time. with Mind Stone. It's okay. so good. He makes it look so easy. I try to do it, and, and I, I will also failed. tap down. His chicken tacos are incredible. Arcanus with icy manipulator. Do I want to draw three cards, or return it to my hand? <laughs> Compatible, wombatable. You just have to move to Baltimore. Sure, I'll draw three cards. Speed this game up. You got it. I'm going to real quick just pull up the counter spells you have in your deck for my own benefit. Andy, what's the favorite thing of yours that I make? Wait. What's <laughs> you gotta, you did, you did, did no one ask that? You, you just want to know? <laughs> well, since I just uh, I messed up my answer for you. <laughs> I didn't say you messed it up. I was just surprised. All right. So you have memory lapse. No, I said lapse, chicken tacos are the best. Your chicken miscalculation. Tacos. For when Andy and you and didn't I... mill memory lapse or miscalculation at any point? I believe that is correct. I, I have sensor counter, counter spell. 
Uh, Baltimore City politics is never good. Yeah, it's not great. Um, All right, I'll untap. I will draw. When Andy and I got married, our wedding invitation was a zine, and it was very cool. I liked it a lot. Um, and one of the things that we did not end up including, but it was going to be like signature recipes, and there were two signature recipes that we had identified. Well, I will put Andy Mastacore put on the and that's, stack. Those are the things I'm thinking of now. So one is Andy's beans, incredible. R.I.P. Bean Man at the Waverly Farmers Market in Baltimore. I miss Bean Man. I miss Bean Man. I really miss Bean Man. Uh, and then the chicken tacos. Uh, how much mana do you have available? Clearly, Andy. One, two, three, four, like five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine. If Mastercore resolves. But I bake a lot. Maybe he likes my baking. I don't know. Andy's beans. Oh, you have Seems condescend very too. Of Andy. That's a big boy. He did get the date wrong in our in our zine, which was very funny to me. We only noticed it after the fact. And most people didn't notice it. No response. Okay. Mastercore is in play. Yep. So, you are at 10. Mm-hmm. And three cards in the library. So, if I... I think it was a very Micah thing for it to be wrong. Tap. Because Andy updated the date for every iteration of the draft, but then didn't change the final one. And again, I don't think... Most people noticed. <laughs> well, I didn't expect this to resolve, and I have to think about what I'm going to do with it. You can just pass the turn. I think I am just going to pass the turn. Right, I feel like between that. Nev's disc and this, this board, I think you're just going to not have any outs. I'll activate Arcanus. You're just going to kill yourself yeah. for fun? Yeah. In response, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, you get to respond. Deal. I'm going to deal eight damage. Uh, I'm going to deal four to the elephant. And one to the bear. In response, I'm going to pay four. I'm going to activate <laughs> Arcanus. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go to game two. It's cool that he has that text. <laughs> and do you think, like yeah, anything that I cook? Yes, jeez. <laughs> oh, my Name God. Name one. Name a woman. Oh, my God. Name a woman. <laughs> uh, I think your Dan Dan noodles are one of my favorite dishes that you make. Those are really great. Um... Thanks, Zoe Draft. This is I actually also really stop. good against you, I think. I think it is. I got to bring it in, I think. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's the uh, here's the sideboard tech chat. I did. I said your Dan Dan noodles. Oh, he did. Also, your, also your Chinese chicken is also really good. I also like your beef uh, orzo dish. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. That's, I like making that. That's good. Um, chat, here's my sideboard tech real quick. Well, my wife berates me for not answering fast enough. Um, notice I pres pressed a nice simple reset button, and it was great. Uh, I'm going to take this out, because Anthony has no targets for it in his entire deck, I believe. I'm going to put this in. That's right. This card's still good. Don't look, Anthony. I'm not looking. This card's still good. I'm doing it. Do you have any sideboard tech? I do. Sideboard technology. Wow. Look at that shuffle. Chat, can you imagine doing that with your cube? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to take out these two cards Ooh, because here, they feel yeah. very bad in this matchup for reasons. Um, maybe reasons that I'm putting a little bit too much weight on how that specific game played out, but that's still how I'm feeling. I'm going to bring in these uh, just because maybe they can win a game. That's that's why. That's the reason. Uh, this card I was thinking about no main decking the during the draft and then ended up not. Oh, yeah. All the cards are real. No proxies. The Academy is not that big of a deal. Anthony's shuffling a Tropical Island in a bayou over there. Badly. Wow. But they're wow. all, rest assured, they're all trashed. The Volcanic Island is a real magic card. It's not just not really a volcanic <laughs> island. It's a molten tributary for now. Andy, have you talked about how you keep trying to get really damaged uh, Mastercores? You sure did. I didn't actually talk about that. It's true. You know so much about me, baby. I do. You what's, know about you what's did not talk about it? What's you know, your favorite you of Andy's magic cards? <laughs> uh, all of the ones that I've bought him, duh. Okay. 
Just kidding. Wow. Um, I mean, as I mentioned, I think Winter Orb is really pretty. <laughs> okay. True sicko. True sicko hours down <laughs> true here. True sickos. Um, I th- am thinking because did you know Andy has? You didn't a answer lot. very quickly. And he has it's almost like you don't think his collection of magic cards <laughs> is cool. He has a lot of magic cards. It's like a lot to process. It's true. Mm. I think that was a great use of Winter Orb. Make you not untap. Trade with the two. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I, maybe I should have actually not attacked there. <laughs> is there a finite amount of runs of this cube left theoretically? I think that at some point the cards reach a... Uh, some of these cards are MP. They're mostly played. They reach, got a little more. Reach a level where they kind of stop getting worse. You know, I think the answer theoretically is yes. There, <laughs> there probably is an amount of uh, play this cube has left, but I think it's a very high number, much higher than would make sense to plan around. You're on first, Anthony, if you want it. Yep. What? Do some cubes have just a finite? They're just saying the number. cards are getting damaged every time we shuffle them, and eventually mm. they'll just turn to dust. Sure. Just got to keep playing Bunker Just Magic until playing. it turns to dust. All right, I will keep this hand. It um, is very medium. I'm going to keep my hand as well. I like it more than my last hand, which doesn't say a lot because I mulliganed that hand. But I think this is... And then you won. I think this is pretty decent. We're into it. We like it. It's fun. All right, Anthony. At your leisure. Um, thank you. I think what I'm going to do is play a Marsh Flats and say go. I will draw. Volcanic Island versus Bobble. Go. I will crack Marsh Flats. Go to 19. Get a Temple Garden tapped. And I'm at 19. Boop. Oops. It's not going to work because I have a different window focused. Boop. Wow, Jin Rovahar. You ruined your first magic gate by falling through the ice on a frozen pond with Untap. it in your pocket. Draw. What a story. Oh, after your draw step. Oh, I'm going to bobble you. Yes. One time. Andy had a friend's... Maybe we should roll, because these cards are distinctive. <laughs> EDH deck. Sure. We'll just roll. You have seven? Seven. One. T- Shit. <laughs> just just <laughs> one pick here. Andy had Hillary, you want to pick one of these? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Are you going to look at it? I just don't have... No, a, no, I don't have a D... I don't have anything above a D6. You get to see what I see, too, so I'm going to reveal that I know you have an Ash Barons. Great. All right. And then go ahead to your main phase. Thank you. Um, I will. I would love to cycle that Ash Baron, so that would be a lot of fun. But instead, I'm going to play a Tropical Island and a Heart Warden. All right. Um, say go. I will untap upkeep, draw off versus bobble, and then I will draw for turn. Did you crash your bike when you crushed our friend's EDH deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't an EDH deck. It was a legacy deck. Uh, I was... <laughs> a Yikes. friend A friend accidentally left their legacy deck at our office. and As you do. He lived... No big deal. He lived on my bike ride home from the office. And so like I was like... Three blocks away. No, he was a little further away than that. Uh, and I was like, I'll drop it off on my way home. I ride my bike everywhere. And as an adult... Including into the ground. Post-college, <laughs> post-college I've been in... I think two bike crashes and one, well, three. I've been in three bike crashes. <laughs> one was, the worst one was definitely not my fault. Just some taxi cut across a solid oh, yeah. yellow line I and, uh, and plowed me over. Uh, I'm glad and this okay. was one of them. And this one was just, I was biking with the deck in my hands. I bike one handed all the time. It's fine. <laughs> but what happened, <laughs> legacy deck but what happened, what happened in this particular moment was Do you anything else in this, in this game? I am, yeah. I'm okay. going to play a Mindstone. I don't mind that. I'm also going to play Mishra's Bobble. Okay. Um, I'll pass the turn. All right. I will untap. Any whoosie wetsie. I, uh, I was biking one-handed with the Legacy deck 
under my arm, and uh, the front fender of my bike became detached at the top and then Yuck. wedged itself between the wheel and the fork and just threw me over the handlebars and I, I landed square second. on our friend Steve's legacy deck. <laughs> I crushed the box and smushed many of the cards <laughs> and had to buy him, I think, a playset of Leyline of Sanctity? Okay. The of Hexproof the ones. Ouch. Yeah. I didn't didn't mess up any like huge, but at the time I think they were like twenty bucks a piece, so it cost yep. me like eighty bucks to replace this place that lay on the sanctity. And now Eight. what are we worth? Plus your fender. Now how much would it cost? I have no. I mean that's not a super valuable card. I don't know what it's oh, worth now. Like five bucks it though. entirely depends mm-hmm. on if it's been reprinted, which I have no idea, and other factors. All right, then I'm gonna play. Oh, should I? It's like when they say mm. most car accidents happen within like an island, a mile of your home. This legacy legacy accident happened with <laughs> a block of Steve's home. I'm going to cast a cartographer. So you played Temple Garden tapped? Or was that already in Temple play? Garden turn one. How much do people usually spend okay. on legacy decks? I would say the average legacy deck is probably six to eight thousand dollars. Pass the <laughs> turn. <laughs> Most of them have a five thousand dollar mana base basically which is the primary factor. Like cards like you have in this in this deck? Did you get a land back for your graveyard? Oh, uh, yeah, the Ash Barons. Oh, you cycled the Ash Barons. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm, you know, talking to my wife, yeah. half paying attention. I'm so distracting. Right. I wish I had drawn something different, <laughs> chat. Cards in hand? Five. Oh, you're going to balance me right now? I always ask how many cards people have in hand. Yeah. It's fair. Felwar Stone. Mm-hmm. And just pass the turn. All right, I will untap. Draw a card. Oh, I I I, I don't know what I'm a, I I can look at the exact numbers I paid for them. I paid like 20 to 40% less than the cheapest listing on TCG player for all the duels I have acquired so far. Those grassroots sellers. All right, chat. How much do I play around balance? Well, the first question is, can you afford to? Nah. Chat, would you ever play unsleeved dual lands? Original dual lands? Or would you say it's not worth it? No matter how damaged they are. They're already damaged. You're not getting any less valuable. Until they turn to sawdust. They're not going to actually turn to sawdust. And my point is, like, they're already damaged beyond damaged, that more damage is not going to change their value. What is your favorite uh, altered art card in your new classical cube? I think I like the Doreen Sherman that says, I kill you, die, die, die on it. <laughs> I'm with Psycho and Ash Barons. Get an island. Trying to do you a missed close, it. I was trying to do a close up. Wait, weird sound of the shuffle. The Something feedback stopped when did you happen. The I'll go to combat. I will. Why attack is it only have feedback when it's upright? I don't know. The electrons are heavy, and so they flow to the. Oh. Just hold it horizontally. It sounds so much better. Attack you for two. Just like this. Yeah, take two. Go to eighteen. Second main. I will pay two. For a wall of blossoms. You got it, main. Trigger. Trigger. And then I will pass the turn. I'll untap. I will draw. Two mana. Play boiler works. Mm-hmm. Pick up molten tributary. And I'll cast balance. Yeah. So I've got five in hand and two lands. And two mana available. What does that mean? He's got counter spells that care about how much mana Mm. in his deck. So I will end up sacrificing two lands 
And all of my creatures? All your creatures. All right, I'm going to pay two, sacrifice the Heart Warden to draw a card. Mm -hmm. I'm very tempted to go take this mic and put it next to Sadie. <laughs> She's and so then it'd be very cute. I guess let's let balance resolve. How many cards do you have in hand now? A bunch. Six. All right, so you're also going to discard one. Just one. Okay. I'm going to crack this Mishra's bobble now. I'm going to discard an Ash Barons and Sacrifice. Sacrificing two lands, that hurts so bad. Island Temple Garden. All right. And then I'll pay to blue off the Felwar Stone for an Afeto Alchemist. Ooh. I will pass the turn. Untap. On your upkeep, I will draw a card. Draw. Tap the Tropical Island for a Nimble Mongoose. Yeah. She stopped snoring as soon as <laughs> the microphone next to it. She could sense your presence. Play a Selesnia Sanctuary. Pick up Damn. Tropical Island. I think I play with these cards exactly so the same as normal cards. I felt like a real David David Attenborough for 30 seconds. but I will draw. Didn't work out that way, sadly. See, she started again immediately. Yeah, what can I say? She's weird. How far are we are? Are you from threshold? Uh, negative two cards. Oh, you've got threshold. Spicy. I'll play an island. Sorry, negative one cards. Got eight cards. I'll pay six for Triskelion. Ugh, okay. Well, I have a brief reprieve of you having counter magic. Yeah. Machine Schooling wants to know, do you think you play with these cards? I already answered that question. Oh, I was too busy. <laughs> I was too busy. Go ahead. Trying to go, going on your nature expedition to the dog. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to be really quiet and was just hyper-focused. It was like, you know at the end of the Planet Earth episodes where they would show the, like, here's the person who's spent seven months in a tent just waiting to get To get one shot leopard. of this bobcat or whatever. I yep. play a flooded that was strand. Me for Thirty seconds. Got a flooded strand, and say go. Now you do have counter magic up conveniently. Can I beat Triskelion? It's just free to shoot stuff. Yeah. Play that molten tributary you know about because I picked it up. Access to seven eight man of this turn. I wish I had cited that other card in now, but I didn't. Hmm. Chat, is anyone watching the new season of Love is Blind? Gotta know. You have a 3-3 Trample. No, just 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three Shroud. Yeah, I know it's got a Shroud, yeah. Okay. James had a much better question, which, is that a Nimble Mongoose? That is a it Nimble is. Mongoose. Check him out. So nimble. Such Mongoose. Eating a snake. All right, let's go to combat. Yeah. Attack you for four. With a 4-4, four, four, yeah. no blocks. Big yes on the Makus or big yes on Love is Blind? Got you a 15. I had never watched Love is Blind before uh, visiting some family this past weekend because season four just came out. Also, apparently a friend of a friend did Karn? match with one of the men on Love is Blind this gives on you bubble. one additional mana, is that correct? Yeah. And I gotta say, wow. I kinda How love this show. That it's resolves. so trashy. And also it's amazing to see Passenger. the difference between like a thirty something year old woman who like really has her shit together and is like, You don't do these things and then the twenty six year old who's like just there to be on camera. Strand. Oops. It's so good and so so bad. Also it's so clear that the producers like when they all go on the honeymoon period they're like let's just get them as drunk as possible and see what drama we can stir up all right with that i'm going to get an island and then i'm also going to go don't, ahead and i don't know if it's a cycle good and ash barons i think different strokes for different forest folks. into my hand you got it Ooh, if they had their shit together would they be on a reality show i'm going to try question. and i want to try and watch an episode of documental with you okay i want you to like it <sighs> that's why are we talking about documental? Someone, someone mentioned it? it in chat. Someone asked if it was as good 
or better. Uh, James wants to know if you've seen Milf Island. Do you know that we call James <laughs> Milf Island James? No. He's been trying hard to generate a new nickname. No, we <laughs> did watch um, F Boy Island though, which was how many a milfs delight. were on there? None. That's what you think. <laughs> but Shroud is really annoying. F Boy Island was quite I'm fun. Thought scare myself. Yeah, you got it. Milf too. I don't want it to have Shroud. Draw a card. F. What do you mean you haven't seen Milf play. Island, James? How often would you get the nickname Milf Island, James, if you hadn't seen Milf <laughs> yeah, Island? Yeah, that's a pretty good, pretty good question. Uh, I will play Tropical Island. Pay four. Cast Deep Analysis. Yeah. I'll target myself. That makes sense. That makes sense. You've been drawing a lot of cards with that deck. Yeah. That's that's what so, the blue cards are for. If we're talking about like scripted dating shows, F Boy Island is definitely and one of them. i go. Where? I'll untap. You could stop there. I okay. will draw. It's one of them. Okay. I'll stop. One, two, you three, can. four, you can also five, keep five six, seven, eight mana. So I can do both now that you are tapped out. I pay three and also sacrifice Felwar Stone to cast Tinker. Uh-oh. This is probably fine. I mean, you all my best have... targets are already in play. Does Old Enough corner? count as a reality TV show? Got to know, chat. I think so. What do you think? You think Old Enough counts as a reality TV? Ooh. Ooh, I'm just going to do this because it's fucking cool <laughs> as hell. Winter Orb into play? That would be pretty Tinker, good. Tinker Winter Orb. That would be pretty classic. good, too. Gene Smalling, do you know how often I think about the apple? No, I'm just going to get down powder the cake. I think about it oh, no. quite often. I love this for me. Or you could say also the fish. <laughs> fish falling out of the cooler. That Real, was really dramatic. <laughs> really dramatic. Really hard. Really hard. All right. There's a powder keg. And then here's another turn. Time warp. Yes, please. I will I will also take one. <laughs> Are they on offer? I will go to my... No, that's, that's a lie. I'll attack you for eight. Uh, attacks Ooh, or Milf blocks, Manor right? Yes. Real I show. will block. All right. Never heard of it. You take four. four. I've solved your Karn puzzle. And then I will go to my next turn. Mm -hmm. Untap. Upkeep. Put a fuse counter on powder keg. Draw. I will blow up powder keg to destroy each artifact and creature with converted mana cost equal to one. Nimble Mongoose wants you to know that's basically cheating. Oh, I mean, uh, Child Protective Services would be... I will turn all Mind over. Stone into a creature. All okay. over old enough. I'll US. attack you for 10. I will take 10. That is your life total. Wow. Incredible. I will lose. Woo! In response, before woo, I die, woo, I will woo, say, woo, I kill you. Woo, die, die, die. <laughs> die, 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 die. That was a really disgusting balance. Uh, Yeah. That should not have been permitted. So Do I, you want to play some magic? Sure. I had the Drain Tournament we'll play in this my deck? hand. Sure. This is once again like two or three weeks ago when I was like, you're handing me a deck I know nothing about, so it's well, just going to be Well, you just watched me play a little bit of it. No, I was talking to the chat. I didn't pay any attention to what you were doing. Okay, well, good. Then here you go. Okay. You want to play Hillary? Is that all right? Sure. Good um, luck to myself. I did get to cast Grizzly Fate and flash it back, so squad goals. Squad didn't, goals. Didn't w work. <laughs> I still can't believe I managed to scrape that game out. I Karn is good. Karn is really good. 